Sudhya from Backyard Garden Highlights. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today I am planning to start the process for pre-sprouting the ranaculus and anemone. I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys how I am starting. And this is my first time growing this from the comms. I am super thrilled to really grow them in my own garden without buying the plant from the garden center. Let's talk about ranaculus. It's a cool flower. It can tolerate light frost but their comms cannot withstand in the very cold regions like zone 6b it is considered as a annual but i think zone 7 and above it is considered as a perennial and most of the gardeners from warmer zone they actually plant these comms in the ground during the fall and the spring they get the nice bloom but uh, the colder regions where the ground freezes and this ranaculus cannot survive like zone 6b and below it is recommended to pre-sprout them 4 to 6 weeks before the last frost date so that you get nice sprout already then we can plant these combs in the ground or in the planter outside i actually bought these ranunculus combs this is a 25 count ranunculus pack and the variety is mixed buttercup mix ranunculus is actually a cool flower and they get to dormancy when the temperature rises. So last year actually I grown this from a plant that I purchased from garden center and it was really beautiful flower guys. But only thing is like I bought only three plants. I think I had pink, red and yellow color buttercup or ranaculus and I think I got that for some six dollars. However, purchasing these combs and doing some work, some groundwork before the spring starts, you get really ton of plants than what you get in the garden center. So I decided that this year I will go and buy these combs and try myself to grow these from the combs. I actually bought these combs from an online store, Holland Bulbs, and I did order from them for gladiolus last year and that was not really great product that I received. I got around summer last year when the package arrived, it was most of the bulbs were not looking really sturdy some of the bulbs were rotten and almost i think around i got some 60 i don't recall how many bulbs i got but i got only maybe 10 or 15 plants so i was really disappointed with my gladiolus bulbs from the holland bulbs however i thought these comes it's just six dollar 25 bulbs i thought let me try this out and because these comes comes in a dormancy state and dry form i thought i can try that so i ordered two packets from harlandbulbs.com last fall 50 comes for 12 dollar which is i think great because my hope is at least i get maybe 40 plants out of these and i can enjoy the bloom and this has yellow red orange cream color and white all different mixed color i was keeping this in my basement so that they don't dry out too much cooler zones like me i'm in zone 6b where i cannot really plant these right now in the ground because one the soil is not workable yet and number two they cannot really tolerate freezing cold because they are also cool flower they need cool season to grow and produce nice blooms and once the weather warms up like summer they will go to dormancy so it's better to start with pre-sprouting so that as soon as the ground is ready I can plant this and get early blooms. I'm thinking to pre-sprout around 20 combs today. Maybe after two weeks I will start planting them in one of the container and based on the weather I will decide whether I should keep indoor or outdoor. Renaclus plant grows up to 12 to 18 inches and they spread almost 6 inches. They are very small plant and they are very attractive to butterflies, they are attractive to hummingbirds and very attractive for cut flower garden and bouquets. And ranaculus are most popular for romantic bouquets. This will be a great addition to your garden if you are a person looking to have romantic flower vase in your home to enjoy. Now let's talk about anemone. These anemone combs I bought from Brex Bulbs and they are my favorite company to buy all these bulbs and plants and uh, i actually ordered this as well during last fall and it was also on sale can you imagine 20 combs for five dollar and also it comes with another 20 combs for free so i got almost 40 combs 
for five dollars. Isn't it awesome, guys? If you guys are watching my channels for quite some time, now you could really understand where I'm coming from. I actually try to see what is the optimal cost for hobby gardening because I'm not running any flower farm and I'm not really selling any items that I grow. All I'm doing is for my satisfaction and I'm passionate about gardening and I really started enjoying the plants and the flowers and try multiple varieties. But at the same time, I don't want to really spend too much. So what I try to be patient in terms of buying all these combs or the bulbs or the seed packets or the plants even, at least for the last one year, what I have learned is like, once the season is over, the plants are in a better deal and great offers are available. These comes actually, I think, may, maybe, I don't know what's the original price, maybe $15 or $20, I don't recall. But they must have been sold in a higher cost until the planting season. So closer to fall season, I think the company start putting all these offers. I was fortunate to grab these as part of end of the fall season sale. I got around December, which is fine because anyway, I didn't really plan to plant this in fall gardening. So I'm pre-sprouting now for my spring. So that's I think great thing about getting and being patient with you know, buying all these seeds, bulbs or corn. But one disadvantage with this method is like, you may not get the right variety that you are looking for because you are left with no choice. You just need to pick what is available during that sale period. So that is the only thing I would say is the uh, disadvantage. But again, like I am not very choosy about what plant I want to grow. I want to try everything. Every plant is new for me because I just started learning gardening. So every plant is new. So I think uh, for me, waiting for the sale and picking with a low cost method is definitely works for at least for next one or two years. Maybe after a few years, if I am very much impressed with one particular variety, which is most popular and the gardeners pick them right away, then there is a competition and there is a demand. I may have to purchase them in right time, but at least right now, I am looking for all the plants or all the combs, bulbs that I can really enjoy with low cost but still enjoy the bloom in the same season because I am not losing any season or the years to come. I think I got it in a right time for me. So and it is available now for me to pre-sprout which every garden is in my zone pre-sprouting now. I am really excited to grow this from the combs and this is my first time. So it's going to be a really nice experience. I don't know whether it's going to be 100% successful or failure. Whatever the case, I think I will gain some experience out of this experiment this year. Anemones grow up to 8 to 10 inches tall. This is again a smaller plant and anemones also a beautiful and attractive cut flower. It's going to look wonderful in the cut flower and the flower vase. This particular variety that I have got is double daisy, white and blue colors. I will put the picture in the screen. It, it really looks awesome. So I'm planning to plant ranaculus and the anemones in the same container. So they complement each other. All right, guys, let's go and see how I am pre-sprouting these anemones and the ranaculus. Ranaculus and anemones are having the similar growing conditions or the needs. So most of the gardeners I have watched so far, they try to start these two combs at the same time. So I'm also starting these two combs today at the same time. For pre-sprouting the ranaculus, it has to be soaked in the water for three to four hours and do not over soak more than that, then it may tend to rot. Ideal soaking time is three to four hours and during the soaking process, the expert gardeners recommended that it has to be oxygenated. There are so many complex videos around pre-sprouting ranaculus, but I am going to follow some of the gardeners explain me very simple process instead of doing all those complex process. Just change the water every one hour during these three to four hours of soaking period. So it gets fresh water and there is no harm for the ranaculus or the anemones comes to get soaked. That's what I followed. This is how the anemones looks like after 
4 hours of uh, soaking in the water. This is how the ranunculus comes, looks. So this is how it, it looks before soaking in the water. Now let's compare how it, the soaked one looks. So do you guys see the difference? This one is before soaking and this is after soaking. It actually kind of tripled in the size. Isn't it cool guys? And this is anemone comb before soaking. So let's compare with the one that is soaked. I do not really see much variance in the size, but you could see like this is too dry and this is hydrated now. So they are bulge. I'm going to plant both anemone and the ranunculus combs now. First thing is let's drain the water. I have drained the water now. All the combs looks nice and healthy. And because this is a mixed buttercup variety, different combs size is acceptable because it has a different variety. And here I have drained all the water from the anemone and they are looking bulgy, ready to plant. Now let's look at the process to pre-sprout them. So the pre-sprouting process is very simple. I'm using potting soil mix today and that is sufficient. And this is a basic seed tray. So the first step is pre-moisten the soil. And once you pre-moisten the soil, just spread about maybe one inch of soil. The soil should be in a way that it is moistened enough, but it should not be too soggy. Otherwise, you are going to introduce problem with your ranunculus and anemone bulb. So now I have filled about one inch of soil. Just make sure it is flattened up. When you plant ranunculus combs directly in the soil, this is the top portion of this and the plant actually grows from here. You could see the last year stem and this should be facing up. The pointy side needs to be downwards. Here we are not planting them actually, so you can just keep in any position. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to keep them like this. I'm going to keep all the ranunculus in this side and the anemones in this side. And once you place them, you could just uh, no label and then put soil on top of it. That's it. Can you imagine a beautiful flower comes from this tiny cones? Isn't it amazing guys? They look like a miniature version of dahlia tubers or miniature version of banana bunches. I think this may not do anything, but I'm just going to keep it here. And anemones, you can just place them. If you look at this anemone, I could see some growth point here. And this is the top portion. You could see like the previous year stock. And this is the bottom. But I think for re-sprouting, it doesn't matter. You can just place them. Look at this guys, you cannot really determine which side is up or down. That's okay, you need not to really worry too much about which direction you need to plant. Ranaclus comes and you could see all the anemones comes. So I'm going to now label them. Before you fill the soil, make sure you place the labels so you don't get confused which side is ranunculus, which side is anemones. Once you finish the process, make sure to keep this tray in a basement or a place where you have a steady 40 to 50 degree Fahrenheit and darkness because these combs need darkness and about 50 degree Fahrenheit for them to sprout nicely. Alright guys, hope you guys liked watching this video. I'll see you in another video. Please support my channel by subscribing, sharing and commenting.